Good Tuesday evening, Southeast Texas continuing to watch potential tropical cyclone nine. What does that mean? Well, it's not yet a tropical storm. It is strengthening, but our tropical storm warnings are currently in effect over towards the northern Leeward Islands, the U.S. and British Virgin Islands back over towards San Juan. This is new. It started about a year or two ago. They want to give people enough time, 48 hours, to prepare for this. What could happen is that this is what has happened in the past is that this could develop and be on their doorstep as a tropical storm and not give anybody any time. So it's all about timing with this. Want to give people at least two days preparation. So that's why they're going ahead and saying, yeah, we think this is going to be a tropical storm. It could be very close right near shore of the northern Leeward Islands that this becomes a tropical storm. So that's all that, that this is. So it's on its way, and we think it will become a uh, named storm. Ensemble modeling takes it right over San Juan and a little over towards the Bahamas before turning it off towards the north and then northeast. Could affect uh, Florida and the Bahamas. And that's exactly, very good consensus, exactly what the uh, Hurricane Center is showing, that this goes right over the island of Puerto Rico and on in towards maybe Miami as we head towards Saturday and Florida on Sunday. The reason is is that we'll be watching a developing trough of low pressure. We're going to see high pressure build over our area as we head towards, uh, say, Friday, Thursday and Friday. This trough of low pressure will be digging on south through Texas. It couldn't have come at a better time. What's going to happen is that this will either go east of Florida, on Florida, or possibly into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. But with this trough of low pressure, that means the Gulf is closing. So this is going to pick, be picked up and brushed off towards the north and northeast. It's when the curve uh, certainly uh, happens. Will it be east of Florida, right over Florida, or in the eastern Gulf of Mexico? Regardless, I don't think it's coming any further to the west of, uh, say, New Orleans because of this trough, that's going to close the western Gulf of Mexico at the same time that this approaches Florida. So we're in good shape out of this, I believe, at this point. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12news.com.